Hi folks. Today I'm going to run you through the basics of how to import and export configuration information uh, from your verbal devices and back it up to a file. Now the reason why you may want to do this is um, if you're going to experiment in the software and play around with things, um, if just in case you screw something up, it's good to have a backup of the way the system was before you started. So it's handy for that. Second point is that it's really handy for if you're going to try a new firmware revision, firmware and software, that um, if you don't like it or there's a problem that appears in it that uh, becomes uh, an issue for you, then what you can do is reflash it and import the config that you've backed up and you're exactly back to the way you were before you started fiddling around with the stuff. So to recap, the way the Verpal stuff works is the configuration is stored internally on the device. The software loads that config into it. You make the changes in the software and then you save it back to the device. So the device has the config embedded in the flash configuration sector. Now the good news about that is that it means that if you take your joystick, throttle, whatever it is, Verpal kit, unplug it from your machine and plug it into somebody else's computer, that the config, the calibration and everything is already set. You're all good to go. So it's really good for that. So let's load up the software and have a go. Now, the software I'm using is from 2019 uh, and it's the 5th of November. The little line at the top here tells you that. It uses like, you know, normal date format. Right. So first up, the little warning. Uh, it is important to heed this warning if you're doing anything to do with calibration or setup of initial devices. Extremely, extremely important. So if you're um, if you're setting up, like say for example, you've got a couple of new Warbird bases and some grips for them, you're setting them up for the first time, uh, follow the warning. Only have one of them plugged in at a time. You're going to save yourself a world of hurt if you do that. I'm not going to worry about that today because I'm only backing up and loading config stuff and this should work okay. So first off, the first device selected, this is the device selection box, is my stick. So I have a CM2 base with a CM2 grip. First thing I'll do is click load. So what that does is it loads the config from the physical hardware into this piece of software and allows me to make changes. Now I want to make the changes and then save them back. That's how I do it. So you make a change in the software and then send it to the device. So go to profile. I'm going to go to export. I am going to put it in a folder with all most of my other backups. So I'll create a new folder for it based on the identifier, the revision of the firmware. So that's 191.105. And um, I need to give it a, a good name. Now, uh, I was doing this earlier on, so it's actually typed in the correct name I was using on the last file. So. Make sure when you're saving this out, you give it an identifiable file name. For me, it's CM2Base and it's a CM2 grip. Just put whatever you need to put in there that matches what your hardware is, especially if you have multiple grips and, and combinations and stuff. You want to make sure you've got the right identifiable file. So just save that off. And that's it, done. I'll go do the same with the throttle now. Select the throttle. Load, so it loads the config from the throttle into the software. Go to profile again and go to export. And I'll just put in, this is a V1 throttle, because that's what I've got of a V1 throttle from way back in 2018. And then save. So that's it, you've just backed up all the configuration from your device into the software and then to a file that you can now load in at a later date. One thing I need to stress here, folks, is um, the configs that you export, they are valid only for the particular software and firmware revision that they were made on. So up here I've got 191105 and I've created some config or exported some configs from that setup. I cannot import them into a different version. Verbal do not guarantee that it will work if you do this and you can mess your device up because they might move things around internally 
in the um, in the firmware. And if you go and flash in the config from a different revision, then it might make the device go haywire. So that's one thing to be very important and aware of. Okay, so I've shown you how to back the config up. Uh, now, for example, if you were going to go in here and start playing around, changing axes, fiddling with buttons and all sorts of stuff in here, and then saving it back to the device, if you get into a difficult situation where you've messed something up and you can't work out how to fix it, then this is where your import comes into play. So make sure you're selecting the right device. So where's my stick? I'm going to change to the stick. Notice the way this hasn't updated because it's not automatically refreshing. If I were to click load, and you'll see it's, it's, it's on the right device now. It's got like only three axes because it's a stick. Right, so go to profile, import. Select the correct file, don't get the wrong one. And then save. So if I've been fiddling around my stick and done something and messed it up, maybe messed up one of the axis configs or something like that, or fiddled with something I shouldn't have fiddled, then it means I can quickly revert it back to the way it was when it was working. And it's pretty much the same for the throttle. Load the file, it's in the software, and then it goes from the software into the actual hardware. And that's basically it. That's all there is to it. It's very handy technique to know if you're going to be going in there starting to experiment with the software, start going into axes and start to, you know, to fiddle with stuff. Um, at least you have a baseline of what it was when it was working right. And if you do cock something up, then at least you can restore it quickly. I hope this helps, folks.